Our producer Jackson here is about to tell us when we are all going to die. Why would he do that? Because Jackson ruins everything. Jackson ruins everything, including life. (laughs) What's going on? Yeah, you know, while I'm ruining everything, why not ruin the entire world? Uh, Literally, okay? So, at the end of last year in December, there was a discovery made by NASA scientists of an asteroid called 2024 YR4. Okay, Mm -hmm. It made a little bit of a close pass by Earth, about two times out the distance of our moon, and we picked up on it, and they started running some projection models on it, okay? Now, these asteroids have an orbit that go around and around and around, and, you know, the smart people over at NASA go and look at these models, and they try and predict where this asteroid is going to end up. Make sense? Yep. Okay. Now, when an asteroid, just so I'm clear, when an asteroid of any size reaches Earth... (laughs) It's going to affect the entire globe? Not necessarily. Okay, so we have a chance. We have a chance, okay? So this one in particular is estimated to be between about, I think, 150 and 300 feet uh, long, okay? Okay, size of a football field, Mo. Got it. Doesn't sound too crazy, but to give you a little bit of context, the one that hit, uh, so there was this event that happened in Russia in 1908 that's known as the Tunguska event, and a very similarly estimated sized asteroid actually exploded right over this area of Siberia, and it flattened like 2,000 square kilometers of forest oh, completely. That's okay. scary. Yeah. Um, and it's very fortunate that it happened in the middle of literally nowhere to the point where it wasn't even, they didn't even know what had happened until years later when some people were walking through the area and were like, what happened here? Yeah. Like, they all the whole forest was pretty much flattened, right? So this one in particular, they're trying to run these models on where it's going to end up. And initially they were like, ah, maybe, maybe we need to be a little bit concerned. They gave it a 1.5% chance of hitting the earth in 2032 when it makes its next, its second flyby by earth. Okay. 1.5 doesn't sound like very much. However, when you're playing the lottery and it says you have 0.000% chance or 1%, you're like, ah, well, at least there's a chance. Mm-hmm. I am going to ruin Jackson's segment because I have high anxiety. I'm the kind of girl who found out the Mayan calendar ended in 2012 and prayed every single night for five years that that wasn't true. The threat is now zero as of three hours ago. I was getting there, Cassie. Oh, okay, well, Cassie ruins everything. Cassie ruins everything. I was building up the story. I was All building it, up the story. I needed to let my high anxiety folks know they were going to be okay. Otherwise, I'd be praying every night until 2032 that an asteroid did not hit the earth. If I had a dime for every time you killed a bit before we got to the punchline, I'd have two dimes, which isn't a lot. Actually, I think you'd have 30 cents. <laughs> uh, okay, well, ignore that fact for now. Because <laughs> never that, happened. Those were initial estimates of the 1.5%. <laughs> this is like being in um, a courtroom where the judge says, you didn't hear that. <laughs> All right, that is not admissible. <laughs> right, that statement. Yeah, uh, exactly. Um, keep that off the records for us, please. Uh, so then a couple days after they made that initial estimate, they went and they did another, and they were analyzing it again. Again, and then they realized that it was a one in 32 chance of hitting the earth. One in 32 or one in 32 million? One in 32. That is a 3.1% chance. Okay. okay. Keeping okay. in mind that, that we're not high. listening to what Cassie said. That is terrifying. <laughs> yes. I hope, I hope it goes down to zero. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? <laughs> um, and so they tra- they're they able to track with you know some degree of accuracy. Obviously, these are estimates. And so the estimated arrival was going to be December. December 22nd of 2032, and that's when this was supposed to supposedly potentially make impact on Earth. Dang, and it right was before Christmas, like that. I know. Why would they do it like that? <laughs> that's fine. I man. know. The asteroid needs yeah. to, you know, catch the, catch a hint. Re- religiously, it makes some sense. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> that is true. And it was going to land somewhere a little bit north of the equator. So they were predicting uh, a little bit north of South America, through the Atlantic Ocean, Central Africa, and also some parts of South Asia. Okay. That's kind of this band of where they thought it was going to happen. Now, this isn't one of those planet-ending asteroids, but obviously it would cause a pretty significant amount of damage, right? Yeah, okay. Now, if it was going to land somewhere in the United States and, like, take out a, I don't know, like a, I don't know, some parts of... Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. Okay. I was going to say Rhode Island. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Who needs them, right? (laughs) Um, But yes, Cassie, to your point, after they've been very much uh, looking very intently at this to the point where it was enough of a concern. It became the highest risk asteroid that they've ever detected ever. And so there's this uh, space telescope that's um, up there in orbiting Earth right now called the James Webb Telescope. It's the most powerful telescope that we have right now. Jimmy Webb, smart and guy. 
he is <laughs> an absolute genius. And they actually uh, had to use all of the resources on that telescope to like further uh, analyze this asteroid to really make sure that we weren't actually, you know, potentially headed for a disaster. I'm not worried. We got Bruce Willis. Yeah. Up on that thing. <laughs> Listen, do we? I feel. Oh, oh, stop. Oh, this is, oh, come on. Oh, this is a family show. Oh, 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 I, I do feel bad that I stole the anxiety out of your bit. So I will say that currently there is a space program on Earth that allows its uh, rockets to tumble free fall anywhere on, on Earth, re entry from space. Really? Uh huh. Although, really, only 10% of Earth is inhabited by humans, <laughs> which is why they do it. But it literally could and land anywhere from New York City to the middle of the ocean. Okay, so that maybe makes up for yeah. you ruining this in the first yeah, place. Okay. The anxiety. Right, keep going. And speaking of heightening the anxiety, yes, you're right. Uh, they did another analysis and they're basically saying it's a 0% chance. It's like point zero 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 whatever that it's going to hit Earth. But there is now an added risk that it's actually going to hit the moon. And <laughs> it's a 1.7% chance of hitting the moon now. Now, so if you're knows? thinking that's not going to affect us, yeah, the moon does have an effect on the Earth. The moon is very important for <laughs> Earth. <laughs> what? <laughs> Quite a, bit, quite a bit. I know. Okay. So I'm not really sure what to take from that, except we're not in the clear. We would get another moon because people, the theory is the moon is actually from the Earth originally. Like Aww. it's not a separate entity. Like the rocks kind of match up. It's unlike like with it, Mars. It's like a little Earth baby. Yeah. So maybe we'll have two moons instead. I know. And even if it hit the moon, if it put out enough debris, it could put a ring system around the Earth. That'd be kind of cool. cool. Oh, oh, your your cool. features unlocked. <laughs> yeah, like a crazy ass roller coaster. I know. I like the idea. Earth Update 2032 is going to be great. When the Earth gets a ring before, before. me. <laughs> the Bird Show.